I never went to the store faster in my life than I did today. Come here, the minute I heard you can make homemade Pop-Tarts that apparently taste better than the store-bought ones I left in a hurry. My brother saw me and he stopped me. He said, wait, where are you going? Come here. I said, destiny waits for no one. I said, it is my destiny to see if I can make homemade Pop-Tarts and no sibling of mine is gonna stop me. Cause if I can make homemade Pop-Tarts and put as much frosting as I want in the middle and on top, I'd be unstoppable. So we're gonna try it out. Okay, for the filling, it's a half cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of flour, cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. Flatten both of your pie crusts and put them on top of each other. Trim the edges to evenly fit the pan. Now that it's a square, you can put the filling in and then close it up. Leave some space on the edges so you can close it with a fork. Close it with a fork, and then after that, you wanna baste it with butter and then cook it in the oven at 375 for about 15 minutes. For the icing, you want a cup of powdered sugar, a half teaspoon of cinnamon and vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of milk. Now we put our frosting over the crust. Now we cut the Pop-Tart into pieces. Okay, let's give these a try, I'm nervous. <laughs> They're delicious. <laughs> these taste so good. Mm. They taste better than the original. I need y'all to listen to me. You don't have to go get Pop-Tarts no more. You can make them fresh here. They taste good. The frosting's great. I'm gonna make some more. Give it a try. 